his first title defense this, since the final banning of the Phoenix Fury leg drop. And now Sal Renaro is a man without a signature maneuver, and it was his go-to maneuver. You know Every how? championship win for Sal Renaro, whether it be the night he won the title from Slim J, or title defenses down the line, has come from a victory through the Phoenix Fury leg drop. Is he gonna be able to supplement that maneuver with something just as effective, or was he a one-trick pony in his championship reign? Well, frankly, he's not exactly a one-trick pony. As much as I dislike Salvatore Renaro, the man has got a lot to offer, not merely the Phoenix Fury leg drop. Now, if he is absolutely captivated, if he's obsessed with the fact that the Phoenix Fury leg drop is now banned from NWA Wildside, well, frankly, he might be in the wrong business. He's a man capable of a variety of things. And there's, I believe, a good, um, I'm checking the list of all the finishing maneuvers available. And the list is in, you know, in, in the thousands, all right? Pick another one, Sal. Get over it. Good Lord. How about the Phoenix Fury nose drop? They will probably be three times more effective. And more devastating. Two takedowns there, amateur style by Renaro. And yeah, Renaro, I, not one to boast. Yeah, it's funny. Uh, <laughs> Renaro, he kind of screams amateur in a lot of respects, you know? That's another Maybe one. amateur porn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dark of a clothesline by Alter Boy Luke. Hip toss. Too much information, Dan. Arm drag takeover. Pit picture. drop kick. Oh, I picture perfect drop kick it was. Sorry about that, Dan. Oh, there, and Alter Boy Luke has got his eyes on the prize, the Wildside Junior Heavyweight Championship. Beautiful float over by Alter Boy, and wait a minute, standing moon sold off the apron under Renaro, beautifully executed Alter Boy Luke is on fire. Yeah, and Luke landed on his feet. Impressive in some respects, I had to watch out those ankles. If you want to keep those later on in your life, regardless, things are working, going the way of Alter Boy Luke, and hopefully within a series of, hopefully a few minutes, we may be having a new Wildside Junior Heavyweight Champion. It's a very distinctive possibility, especially considering the talent and ability of Alter Boy Luke Renaro upside down in the corner, able to get his wits about him, countered slingshot, clothesline. Lightning quick, too. Renaro now in control of the match, rolls Alter Boy over, lateral press, arrogant cover, did not hook the leg. Now choking him with his knee. Mike Posey very privy to his antics. I think everybody's pretty wise in the ways the way Salvatore Renaro toils his trade here at NWA Wilds. What a handful he is. Brain buster by Renaro. And out of a recent appearance he had over at NWA TNA, Salvatore Renaro, even they thought he was a head case. And you know how many head cases they have up there? You'll be the first to tell me. He'll be sure. the next World Heavyweight Champion. I'll give him 10 minutes. He'll be wearing a dress. Swinging neckbreaker by Sal Renaro. And once again, the shin across the throat of Alteroy Luke. And referee Mike Posey is, I think he's had his fill of Salvatore Renaro. Hey, so have we. You know, I, I wish I could have my fill of him and be gone. And unfortunately, we're well past the point of full when um, it comes to Sal Renaro. That's true. Perhaps one day, one of these talented junior heavyweights, oh, thunderous drop, elbow drop off that top turnbuckle. Say what you want. That top rope elbow by Renaro, it's, it is picture perfect, and, and I can't stand the guy, but I have to give credit where credit is due. I mean, that classifies up there with, with the greatest of the maneuvers history. Actually, it is, and it's interestingly enough, very few competitors do that much, any much anymore. I mean, you look at Shawn Michaels and Randy Savage, two of the most famous individuals to use that maneuver. Renaro's... And execution is right on par, and, and I'm not one to compliment a guy that I don't like, but Renaro, I gotta give credit where credit's due, and look at all Turbo and Luke. Luke just might have Salvatore Renaro's number. He's going for the halo. Renaro did his homework, but all Turbo and Luke, wait a minute, he lands on his feet doing his homework. 
Goes off the top, Renaro counters with a drop kick to the midsection. Salvatore Renaro actually thinking. Nice to know that he's not regressing. And Renaro plops Alterboy Luke on that top turnbuckle. And once again, telegraphing his move to the, cr to the crowd. Also telegraphing it to his opponent, who then countered it. What a dumbass. Guillotine leg drop right across the forehead of Renaro by Alter Boy Luke. And a challenger. Devastating maneuver, but uh, high risk for a variety of reasons. One being that it injured him too much to make the pinfall. Both competitors trying to lift their wounds at the moment. Forearm shots by the Ultra Boy Lightning Kick. And Renaro on the ground, Ultra Boy Luke. Looks like he's going. There's the halo. The pro problem with the halo is that it has to be done close to the ropes, giving his opponent opportunity to get a leg on that bottom rope, thwarting the pin attempt. And that is an opportunity in which Renaro capitalized. Reversal into the far corner, reversal yet again, and Mike Posey makes an altar boy sandwich. Wait a minute, altar boy loop with his version of the Phoenix Fury leg drop. That's the holy driver, but uh, the maneuver banned. He can't be disqualified if there's no ref to see it. Correct, and the ref is out cold. At the moment, an Altimore look in all honesty, should be the new Wild Side Junior Heavyweight Champion. Well, he would or he wouldn't be. If he hit that maneuver, he would have been disqualified. That's the Phoenix Fury leg drop. That maneuver banned in the arena. Oh, but wait a minute, Renaro with a shot from that Rookie of the Year trophy. And of course, trophy shots are perfectly legitimate, right? No, not at all. All of this behind the back of the referee. What kind of pin attempt is it? Regardless, an effective one. Junior heavyweight 